All right, so just two more last quick questions about finding coterminal angles. Uh, and in part A, we're going to find the smallest positive angle that's coterminal with 575 degrees. So since they have to be, uh, basically the difference between them has to be a multiple of 360, all I'm going to do is simply subtract 360 degrees. So let's see, if we subtract 5 minus 0 is 5, 7 minus 6 is 1, uh, 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. So 215 degrees is coterminal. Is it the smallest? Well, to figure out if it's the smallest positive angle, we could just simply subtract again. So 215 degrees minus 360 degrees. Well, I think pretty clearly here you can see that you're going to get something, uh, uh, something negative here. We would get a, a, a negative angle that would be coterminal, but again, we want the smallest positive angle. So I would say 250 degrees is the smallest positive angle that is coterminal with 575 degrees. Uh, part B here, we're going to find the negative angle closest to zero that's coterminal with 635. And we're just going to do the same thing. So if we do 635, and we subtract away 360. Well, 5 minus 0 is 5. Let's see, we can uh, take 1 away. So 13 minus 6 is 7. 5 minus 3 is 2. So we have 275 degrees. Again, that's definitely going to be uh, uh, coterminal with 635 degrees. But again, this is not a negative angle, so it's not the answer we're looking for. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, subtract away another multiple of 360 degrees. And let's see, uh, I always do in my head, so 360, I'm going to flip them, minus 275. What's that going to give us? Uh, so we can take 1 away. So 10 minus 5 would be 5. We would have to carry 1. 15 minus 7 would be 8. So 360 minus 275 would be 85 degrees, which means 275 minus 360 degrees would be negative 85 degrees. So negative 85 degrees is also coterminal with the angle 275 degrees, which is also coterminal with 635 degrees. But now this is going to be the, uh, the, the, uh, the negative angle that's closest to zero. So I would say negative 85 degrees is my answer in this case. So again, all you're doing is just subtracting uh, multiples of 360 to, to answer these types of problems.